I wanted just to end our three-day trip here to Israel, which has been fascinating. Uh, North Towns of Israel, Sussex Towns of Israel, Israel Advocacy Movement, David Collier, facilitated by uh, the Zionist Federation. Uh, with just a bit of a recap, we're here outside Soda Stream uh, in the Negev, in the Bedouin uh, city of Rahat. But we started the day with a briefing by Kodat, uh, the coordinator for activities um, in sort of the Palestinian Authority territories and in Gaza at the, at the Erez border crossing. And we learned some fascinating things that despite what the media says and despite what we see in the newspapers, there is no blockade on Gaza. That actually it is Kogat, it is the IDF who are working very, very hard to bring prosperity and economic growth to the, to the Gaza Strip through the rebuilding of facilities, through the rebuilding of roads, through the facilitation of business people and goods uh, over the crossings. And it's actually the Palestinian Authority led by Mahmoud Abbas and, and Hamas who are fighting with each other that are actually causing the suffering, the economic suffering that the Gazans are currently experiencing through uh, lack of electricity or through, not, or through reduction of salaries or not paying salaries. Um, and I think it's important to note that the Erez border crossing is a modern facility. There are hundreds of people who come backwards and forwards every day uh, to do business in Israel, to seek medical attention. But yet this doesn't stop Hamas from cynically trying to exploit sick people by filling IV bags full of explosives or trying to attack the border crossing. Or we even saw with our own eyes through video footage um, and cameras how they're using civilians, cynically using civilians to attack the border fence as cover for terrorist attempts to breach the border fence and attack and murder civilians inside Israel. So I think it's important to know that, that Israel is not this big bad guy that everybody sees. When it comes to Gaza, the IDF is trying, and is really the only one trying to bring prosperity to the Strip, whereas the Palestinian Authority are using the Palestinian people as pawns, and Hamas are using them as cynical, um, uh, cynically to, to mass terrorist attacks. We then went to Shteirot, a company that we all know has been under rocket fire for years. And what about Shteirot now? Shteirot is a blossoming city. The people are not going to be driven away. There's investment, there's new neighbourhoods being built, the resilience of the Israeli people to stand up to the terrorist uh, rocket attacks of Hamas. And then we came here to Soda Stream. Some say the BDS drove Soda Stream out of the West Bank. They didn't. They didn't. They needed more space and they came here. And what we see here is Palestinians who come from the West Bank to work. We saw Bedouins, we saw Jews, we saw Christians, all working together in a harmonious atmosphere, all one family. The BDS movement was not very interested in the Palestinians. You can see this from here. The BDS movement was interested in hating Israel and destroying Israel. And here, what you see here is an example of co cooperation and coexistence that is the future for this whole area. And it's been a fascinating trip. We've met Palestinians who want peace. We've met Palestinians who just want prosperity for themselves, who want to live side by side with Jews. We've met Jews who want to live side by side with Palestinians. Nobody said peace is easy. Nobody said peace is going to come easily. It takes brave people to make peace. But we met some of those brave people. And we've seen absolutely fascinating things. We've heard about the threats that face Israel from the north, from Hezbollah, from Hamas, uh, from Iran and Syria. We've got a greater understanding of what's here. But one of the things that we can say from being here is, is that we've been here. We've been there, we've done it, we've seen it, we've spoken to Palestinians, we've spoken to Israelis. And that's the message for the BDS movement. Come here and engage with both sides, because until you can, you can't tell us anything. Simon, have you got a quick message? Yeah, no, I'm, you know what, I was just going to say exactly the same thing. We see the BDS in so many places. We never see them at Rawabi. We never see them in Ramallah. We don't see them here. There is your answer. That is the truth. That is what you hate to see. And the truth is in there. The truth is in Rawabi. The truth is in Ramallah. The truth is in Tel Aviv. The truth is in all the places we've been to see in the last few days. Come listen to what the people have to say. Stop making up the lies. Stop spreading hate. Stop trying to destroy what doesn't need to be destroyed. SFI, NWFI. Shalom. Shalom. Thanks, Salam. guys.